Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and we're here at the end of my hallway. This year I put all of my Christmas assemblage sculptures down here. So this is the first time. Um, I have kind of figured out what I like to do down here for spring and summer and fall, but Christmas I've never really been happy and I'm pretty happy with it this year. So I just did my normal decorating where I put my framed art that um, takes up some visual space and gets rid of some of that white. I put those up first and then I just put my sculptures around it. It's as simple as that. So I have space to add a couple more framed peach pieces or some more sculptures, which is always nice. So I haven't shared these two with you, so I will. This summer I was uh, starting to craft with my ornament hanger boxes. You've already seen the one in my corner cabinet. And then I have these two down here. So I took the top off of this one and I had a bottle brush wreath that I cut apart and I stuffed it in the top. It's got the silver and pink bead on it. And then these little bells were from a plastic ornament that I picked up at a rummage sale. We've got a spun cotton snowman and I put a uh, made in Japan pipe cleaner candy cane in there, and then some of those little yellow glass beads on wires. I also took a stick of mercury beads with this little silver or uh, gold garland, and um, I was able to bend it because of the wire and stick that it was on into this arch shape. So I stuck that behind everything and I really like that because I think that it serves two purposes. It sort of makes it look like a shopping bag with all the goodies coming out, like it's a decorated department store shopping bag, but it also makes it easy to display if you wanted to hang it on um, a knob or a handle or even the Christmas tree. And then you saw on the back, I added one of my vintage labels. So I would have sold this sculpture back in 1950 for 29 cents. And this is the third sculpture that I made with my hanger boxes. So I pulled out this hanger box and I had this deer and I thought the off-white color and the red went nice together. So he's got these legs and I was able to have him straddle the box with his back legs and then glue the front one to the front. And it didn't really cover up too much of the letter. So I think it worked out well and the colors went good. So I just had the deer on top of the box for a while and then uh, I was able to finish it uh, a couple months later. So I got this at an estate sale. It's a little like wreath or package decoration with some um, glass beads and then it has these strands of glass beads that end in bells. So I just added little ornaments and then there's this little package tie in there just for a, a little extra. And then I did glue the one bell to the front and then I have a little package decoration there, trying not to cover too much of the graphic from the box. And then I set it on top of this vintage ribbon roll. Uh, it's twinkle sheen and it's got red and white design and then it's got holly down here. And I didn't glue these two bells on the side because I like the idea of every year, you know, depending on where I put it and how I put it, it can just be a little bit of a different composition. And this is what the back looks like. There you go. So thank you for watching everyone and I will see you in another video. Bye.